Tuesday, May 21st meeting of the County Board will be called to order. Are we in compliance with the open meeting law? Uh, yes, we are. Uh, the agenda was posted on May 15th at 2.15 in the afternoon. Thank you. Would you all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? The roll call. Fox News Radio. Twenty one, you said. There are twenty one supervisors present. Thank you. Once they all vote. <laughs> Roger. Thank you. Yes. Now there's 20 minutes. Thank you. Uh, next, would someone move for approval of the uh, the journal? Supervisor Marthenzi. Mr. Chairman, I move for approval. Thank you, Supervisor Marthenzi. Uh, Supervisor Glavin. I'll second that motion, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Are there any additions or corrections? All those in, oh, pardon me. Uh, Supervisor Lemming. Thank you, Mr. Vi Mr. Chairman. I'd like to amend to reflect the supervisor who voted against Resolution 21. Okay, and there is uh, a second, Supervisor Winkle. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, would the clerk make that note? Uh, yes, uh, Mark Winkle was in opposition on that vote. Okay, uh, any others? All those for approval? Press your eye button, opposed, me? Motion's approved unanimously. Next, consideration of appointment by the chairperson. I'd like to uh, make a brief explanation. We had uh, six very qualified people that applied for the, uh, for the job, and um, I asked uh, Vice Chairman uh, Wagner to uh, sit in on the interviews, uh, and uh, we had two days where we each, uh, two afternoons that we uh, met with three people, and very qualified people, and we uh, uh, made the choice of uh, Faye Yurin, and you have, uh, a, a brief uh, uh, profile on her, and uh, with that, uh, I would uh, accept a motion for approval. Supervisor Gearing. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would concur with your nomination. Thank you, Supervisor Gearing. Supervisor Marthenzi. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Marthenzi. All those in favor, press your eye button. Oh, pardon me, there's one. One, uh, uh, Supervisor Baumgart. Uh, I, I assume uh, there is the moment we can uh, ask a question uh, with the motion and second. Certainly, I, I missed your, your oh, light. Right. Pardon me. I'm yep. short. Go right, Hard go right. <laughs> <laughs> um, As part of the open government uh, process, uh, and I did that last time to, um, uh, Chairman Vandersteen, um, I think it's appropriate to uh, list to the body of, of, of the names of those people uh, that had applied for the position because that should be open uh, information available to uh, the public and uh, to the members of the uh, uh, supervisor group. Uh, certainly. Does the uh, clerk have that available to read? I do not. 
Um, I'll, I'll, with, with the help of the uh, vice chairman, we'll try to remember the, the people. I believe there was uh, Tim Lorenz, and there was uh, James Van Akron, and um, Mr. Hill, Ron Miller, and there was um, Mr. Hill, I don't recall his first name, Dan Hill. Jim Herring. Jim Herring. Pardon me, that was the other one. I believe that that is six then. And, and again, they were all uh, very qualified people, and we were honored that there were six applicants that uh, uh, that put their name forward and uh, appreciate their their effort. And they were were very good uh, qualified people. And uh, both um, Vice Chairman Wagner and I uh, made the choice that uh, of fair. And and on the uh, nomination, may I make a comment? Go right ahead. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that uh, um, has bothered me and uh, over time is one of the things that uh, we say, and although we don't always do, we talk about uh, maybe we should have a little more um, relationship with city council people, and yet uh, when they um, apply for the county board, uh, for whatever reason, they are skipped. Uh, we talk about... Uh, um, having a, a better relationship uh, uh, at, with, with county board members so that uh, those that do a good job, we, we, we provide the respect uh, that uh, they, they're due. And, and we've appointed a number of them over the years uh, to different committees after they've left the county board. So I do want to make a comment about Ron Miller, who happened to sit down uh, to my left. And he happens to be a friend, so I want to clarify there is a little bias on, on my part. But also, because he is a friend, I've known him quite well. And uh, he was appointed as a county supervisor and opted not to run at the end of the term because the redistricting put him uh, in uh, with his friend, uh, uh, Mr. Vandersteen. And so he would have liked to serve another term. And I thought he did a very outstanding job. Uh, and uh, at least I've heard nobody say otherwise. Uh, one of the things that... Uh, um, that was important about Ron Miller was the fact that he had lived in the district for years and years and years and has served that district in a variety of ways uh, as, as a volunteer uh, and as a community neighbor. Uh, uh, people that I've talked to have always had the highest respect for the uh, when in need, uh, Ron and his wife would be there to help. But the, the fact is that he was also active in the community. Uh, he's a member of Trinity Lutheran Church, and if you wanted to have uh, church services recorded, he learned how to uh, do the cable TV thing, and he made sure that the people that were with disabilities always had a film of the services that they couldn't get to. Um, he was on, on committees with the um, Lutheran Insurance that in our community to do a great deal of, of help and, and, and service. Uh, and he was a, a, a leader in that group and a m number of others. And I can go through a long litany. But the thing that bothers me most is that here we have a person who has served in the district as, as a county board member recently and did a good job and has been in the community for a long time and was bypassed. No doubt the, a person that you've selected who's only recently moved in the area has great credentials. No doubt about that. But we're talking about the human factor that's important. The fact that, that somebody has served the community, has lived in the community, is part of the community. Uh, and uh, after, uh, when there's a chance to uh, put that person back into the service again, uh, was ignored. So I just wanted to point that out because A, he was a friend. B, I thought he did an outstanding job. And C, I know he did an outstanding job in our community. And I, I think maybe far too many of us uh, uh, ignore the fact that we have people within this community that do countless things and get and don't take any credit for it and maybe are bypassed because of that. So um, I'm just disappointed. I'm going to vote uh, against a nominee, not because she's not qualified. I just think Ron Miller was a better candidate. Thank you for those comments. I'd like, like to respond to a couple of them um, as of uh, I, I, I don't recall the exact number, but I believe it's um, near 20 years uh, that the, uh, the appointee has uh, been in the community. Her parents and grandparents uh, were from the area. 
as about the uh, community service. Uh, she had quite a list and uh, I believe, uh, I'm working off memory, but I believe she has served as a treasurer for her church in town uh, a couple of different terms, so there, there is that also. Uh, but uh, uh, again, Tom and I looked at all the qualifications and that was, uh, that's uh, the choice that we made and I appreciate your comments. Uh, the other was a comment about the relation between the city and the county. I've been out around for quite a few years and quite frankly, I don't think it's ever been better than it has been in the last few years. So I think that that, uh, that I believe we're doing pretty well on. So uh, with that, are there any other comments? Uh, Supervisor Winkle? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd just like to say uh, any misgivings aside, the appointment was in fact yours and I'm sure you've done your due diligence. In fact, I know you have. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Any other comments? If not, uh, all those in favor, press your I button, oppose the nay button. Motion carries 20 to 1. Thank you for that. Uh, could you please step forward? Uh, Faye, come forward, please. If you would raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Faye Rayner. I, Faye Rayner. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office and will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office of county board supervisor for district 2 of county board supervisor for district 2 to the best of my ability so help me god to the best of my abilities so help me god please sign on the line Thank you, and uh, uh, for the um, short time, we have a supervisor without a committee till the uh, committee appointments are, uh, are made at the executive committee for approval at the uh, next county board meeting. Uh, then there will be a couple appointments to fill the vacancies of the committees and the subcommittees, and you all received an email if you were interested in those positions, so thank you for that. Uh, the next order of business is consideration of appointments by the county administrator. Uh, there is quite a long list and maybe uh, it would be in order for Carl to explain uh, how we got to this point, some of the, the reasons that there is such a list and what we've done in the last couple of years. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, there is quite a large list. Uh, we're uh, starting a new <clears throat> board year, which is also the expiration date of old uh, terms of officers and uh, uh, citizen appointees. We created a couple of years ago a uh, term expiration or a default expiration term for a lot of appointments that were created over the years and didn't have a specific term limit. So uh, between the executive committee keeping an eye on this, the county administrator and uh, it, his administrative assistant keeping an eye on uh, when terms are expiring. Uh, we have gathered quite a large list and that's before the uh, board for consideration tonight. Thank you, Carl. And with that, uh, if there's no objections, I'd like the uh, clerk to read the, the different names of each of them. And uh, most of them are reappointments. If someone would like to divide the question, they would. But otherwise, the motion would be in order for to uh, accept them all. 
go right ahead. All right. To the affirmative action committee, Dave Adams. To the communications council, Dave Augustine, <clears throat> Brian Gesler, Jeremy Present, Steve Steinhardt, Josh McDermott, Edgar Karsted. To the Eastern Shores Library System Board, Elwood Winbeam. To the Emergency Medical Services Council, Robert Kohanek, Alan Rubel, Dan Hein, Steve Steinhardt, Daryl Kashabaski, Craig Schicker, Suzanne Martins, Carson Wilkinson, Thomas Barr, to the Glacial, Glacial Land Resource Conservation and Development Council, Brad Krutzik, to the Local Emergency Planning Committee, Kathleen Rathmar, Thomas Barr, Philip Ditter, Carrie Kotzer, Travis Walk, Paul Rutledge, Peter Madden, to the Recreational Facilities Management Advisory Committee, David Smith, Tim Chisholm, and David Dewis, and to the Traffic Safety Commission, Joe DiCecco, Ron Becker, Terry Martin, Laverne Herrig, and James Gilligan. Uh, Supervisor Lemmy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, concur with all the appointments. Thank you, Supervisor Lemmy. Supervisor Winkle. I'll second the motion, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Uh, Supervisor Hoffman. Yeah, just a question. Um, I have no problem with the appointment, but you have Dan Hine down for EMS, and you have under county government. Okay, uh, shouldn't that be a county board member or somebody involved in county government, not a uh, town board chairman or something like that? I, I guess I just don't understand. Uh, you know, he's a good man, and I'll vote for him, but I just don't understand why he's under for county government. Well, uh, since these are appointments by the, uh, the administrator, I'll refer to him on this one. I don't know. <laughs> well, does it does it make sense? I mean, to, you know. to be frank with you, I I don't know. Um, the way the process works is that generally through the staff that oversee or work with these advisory committees, they recommend individuals. They then go to the liaison committee. The liaison committee makes a recommendation on their comfort level with it. It then comes to our office. Kayla Renz, my assistant, does an excellent job coordinating all these. I review them, and if the liaison committee and the direct staff involved are comfortable with it, unless I see something that I think is going to be a problem, I support them and recommend them to the full board for confirmation. My, my instinct is this needs to be an appointment from someone at large within the county, but again, county government, I can appreciate your question on should it be specifically a county representative. I, the answer is I don't know. I'm hoping that the people that put this together do and that it's appropriate. If not, obviously, we'll make a change. All right, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll vote for them, but like I said, it's just kind of confusing looking at that, you know, county government. Okay, thank you. On this document, it says town. It should say town government, not county. Uh, we, we're getting some information from our clerk. Uh, do you, could you help clarify that? Sure. Um, on the actual list signed by Adam, it says village government. No, town. town government, I'm sorry. Not county So now government. I know the reason the, for the concern, the county clerk made an error. <laughs> yes, it was just discovered. <laughs> made an error. No, it's my error. Thank you, Supervisor Hoffman and, and um, John. And uh, Supervisor Winkle, you have a question? I'd just point out to Supervisor Hoffman, this is a reappointment which would indicate past service on that council. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Um, seeing the more lights, uh, all those in favor, press your eye or close the north side. All right, appointments are approved unanimously. Thank you. Next, uh, we have presentations. 
Yes, good evening, and if the Chairman and Vice Chairman could please join me. It's a rather unique evening. As you can see, we have a, a lengthy list of service award okay. pins to present, and this is a, a nice evening, one that we do generally in April or May of each year, although I can't recall in my 14-year tenure that we've had this many, and I recognize that we're not before hundreds of thousands of constituents here, that the prim primary audience are board members and some staff here, TV8, we're glad to have TV8 with us. But I'm gonna try to go through these a little more concisely than I perhaps have in the past. We're going to have five department heads come forward, my assistant, and then 11 county board supervisors. So, if we could get rolling and start with veteran service officer, Charlene Cobb, if she would please come forward. Charlene began her employment with, she with Sheboygan County in October of 2008. During her first five years as veteran service officer, Charlene has assisted veterans and their families with nearly $108 million in state and federal financial assistance. And that's remarkable how incredibly important her position is that her staff do for the veterans of this organization or for this community. Over $108 million of financial assistance for our veterans and their families. Very, very important work. Charlene also was a key advocate who helped establish the county's veteran treatment court. And as you know, that's been very successful and we've received some very nice compliments with the good work of the Veteran Service Court. In May 2012, Charlene completed her Master's of Divinity degree and serves Wisconsin veterans as the state chaplain for the Veterans of, of Foreign Wars. So very, impressive track record in just the last five years. So please join Chairman Testrudy, Vice Chairman Wagner, and myself in recognizing Charlene for five years serving the people of Sheboygan County. <laughs> Treasurer Laura Henning-Lorenz, if you would please come forward with 10 years of service to Sheboygan County. Laura was first elected as county treasurer in November of 2002 and is now serving her fourth term as county treasurer. During her tenure, there have been a number of cost saving and streamlining initiatives that Laura has been a big part of including, a big, big part of being a, involved in, including consolidating real property listing into the treasurer's office implementing a new online tax payment option and assuming responsibilities for the city of Sheboygan's real property listing functions. This past year, Laura and her team distributed over 57,000 tax bills. And every year when those tax bills are distributed, uh, certainly we think about it when we receive our own and look that over. But to think that her office is distributing 57,000 of those and the complaints that I receive, and my bet is the complaints you receive, are very few and far between about the outstanding service of Laura's office and the work she does. In fact, she shared with me that recently an audit was completed to look at a segment of those tax bills, 57,000 tax bills, and only six were questioned by the state. Laura does an excellent job, and we appreciate it. Please join Chairman Testrudy, Vice Chairman Wagner, and I in recognizing Laura Henning Lorenz for 10 years. <laughs> Court Commissioner Rebecca Persick, would you please come forward? 15 years of service. Rebecca began her employment with Sheboygan County as the Assistant Corporation Counsel and Child Support Attorney in July of 1998. In 2003, Rebecca was appointed Court, com court Commissioner. As you may know, Court Commissioners are attorneys who are appointed by the circuit court judges for the purpose of carrying out certain delegated responsibilities to assist the courts. Very, very important work. Rebecca presides over hundreds of court hearings every year from paternity pretrial conferences, temporary hearings in divorce cases to, sm to small claims hearings and weddings. She, did, she does get to have a little fun from time to time. Early in her tenure as court commissioner, Rebecca developed and implemented a new procedure to more effectively track and collect mediation revenue, and she has earned the respect of her peers, litigants, and coworkers alike. And I can't emphasize that enough. The critically important work that Laura does, the individuals that she interacts with, uh, one would think you might hear more concerns from time to time about the work she does. She certainly is not in a position where she can please everyone. And every time we have a performance evaluation or the judges are looking for input, 
time and time again i hear nothing but positive things about her professionalism and the good work that she does more recently just as part of this last budget cycle she converted a paralegal position to a job share which is projected to save sheboygan county taxpayers ten thousand dollars a year currently rebecca is president of the sheboygan county bar association so please join me Chairman Testrudi and Vice Chairman Wagner in recognizing Rebecca for 15 years of service to Sheboygan County. <laughs> Child Support Director, Mr. Jim Groff, would you please come forward with 25 years of service. Jim began his employment with Sheboygan County as an accounting supervisor in the Health and Human Services Department in 1988 and became the Child Support Director in 1990. Jim and his staff have received a number of Wisconsin Child Support Awards over the years, including County of the Year, Director of the Year, and Child Support Member of the Year for extraordinary commitment to the Child Support Program. In addition, a number of Jim's staff have been recognized as Child Support Professionals of the Year. Jim and his staff also earn certificates of excellence and outstanding achievement for the very important work they do. I don't imagine too many of the clients you serve share these things with you over the phone, though. Probably not. Jim and his staff do very, very important work. Please join me in recognizing him for 25 years of service to the people of Sheboygan County. Thank you, Jim. And my favorite one of the evening, assistant to the county administrator, Kayla Renz, would you please come forward? With 30 years of experience, one would never be able to tell that. 30 years. Kay has spent her entire professional career serving Sheboygan County, beginning her employment back in 1982 at Rocky Knoll, shortly after earning her bachelor's degree in health information management. During Kay's tenure at Rocky Knoll, she served as the medical record coordinator, director of health information services, and led the facility's quality assurance efforts. After completing the education and testing requirement to obtain a nursing home administrator's license, Kay was promoted to assistant administrator at Rocky Knoll and twice was appointed to serve as interim administrator. Kay is also the county's HIPAA privacy officer and began her current position working for yours truly in 2007. One of the best years of my life. <laughs> Kay reflects very, very highly in Sheboygan County. I consider myself so fortunate to work with her. She is competent, she is kind, she is thoughtful, she is professional, she anticipates needs, whether it's myself or Chairman Testrudi, She's good with department heads, she's good with the county board, she's good for Sheboygan County government, and by far the best administrative assistant I've ever had the pleasure of working with. So please join me, Chairman DeStrudy and Vice Chairman Wagner, in recognizing Kay for 30 years of service to the people of Sheboygan County. <laughs> Tom just gave his sympathies. <laughs> Clerk of Court, Nan Todd, 35 years. Thirty-five years. Very impressive. Please stand right over a little closer to us. Okay, let them all take a good look. <laughs> 35 years. She was elected to the Clerk of Courts in 2001. She began her career, however, with Sheboygan County in the Auditor's Office in 1978. She applied for a position in the Clerk of Courts Office the following year and has been with us in that department ever since. Nan has served many roles in the Clerk of Courts Department the past 30 years, most notably as the Accounting Manager and now as the Clerk of Circuit Court. She is one of our 19 department heads overseeing incredibly important work in Sheboygan County serving the circuit court judges and many others. Nan completed her bachelor's degree in, the, in accounting at Lakeland College, just learned that. She has served as the secretary of the Wisconsin County Constitutional Officers and as a national board member of a nonprofit foundation dedicated to education and support for patients and caregivers. Very impressive. 
35 years. How are you holding up? <laughs> you? I'm on another 35. Wonderful. <laughs> Please join Chairman Testruti, Vice Chairman Wagner, and myself in recognizing Nan Todd for 35 years of dedicated service to the people of Sheboygan County. Thank you, Nan. We now have 11 county board supervisors, some of which that are receiving their five-year pin, their 15-year pin, and their 25-year pin. And I could go on at length about individual accomplishments, whether it's leadership, things that have happened. And in the past, as you know, when I've recognized board members for their pins, or when we have, I apologize. We go into a number of those accomplishments, but with 11, and with the hour growing a little later, I wanted to talk a little bit more about what we all know is true for Sheboygan County. We're all about collaboration and teamwork. Our fiscal track record, all the accomplishments that you know about with your respective liaison committees or through the, the board process as a whole, don't happen with each and every one of you being involved. I want to welcome Faye Urainer, Supervisor Urainer tonight, and as we discussed earlier during her orientation, she is joining an incredibly thoughtful, caring team, a team with a superb track record, a team of problem solvers. And as I reflect on this board's accomplishments, which you happen to have a little high-end snapshot in your materials this evening. The list goes on and on about the very good things that you do for this community. Tonight, you're going to be taking action on bonding. Now, to some people in this community, well, uh, the board's going to pass up nearly $10 million in bonding. How important is that? Yet, as you know, you have a five-year capital improvement plan. You go through that every year as part of the budget process. You look out to see what types of improvements do we need to make for this community. And as part of the action you collectively are going to take tonight, you're going to lock in one of the best interest rates of our history, at just over 1%. And this funding is going to support emergency response communication in our Sheriff's Department, new boilers and roof replacements across the county, health and human services building improvements, elevators that our clients and staff can rely on, Tremendous improvements in infrastructure. County Trunk Highways OK and J are going to be completely reconstructed. The intersection of I and V is going to be intersect, uh, improved. County Trunk Highway DE, we're going to have bridge work. We're doing more and more reconstruction or asphalt work. And of course, as you know right now, Old Plank Trail, Road Trail is being improved. All of these things that you take the lead on that you support or you authorize. Some of you may initiate it, some of you may not, but you all collectively can take ownership for the very good things that are happening in this community. And it's why I'm proud to work with you and proud to be a part of this team. So this evening, we're gonna celebrate collaboration and teamwork and start by honoring some County Board Supervisors who are five-year veterans, and when you come forward, if you could please remain up front and you can hold your applause uh, for the folks that are in the audience until after we get through the five years. So would County Board Supervisor Al Bosman please come forward? Al was elected to the County Board in 2008. He is currently a member of the Healthcare Centers Committee and is also on the Planning, Resources, Agriculture, and Extension Committee, which he has served on since his election. County Board Supervisor Fran Damp. Supervisor Fran Damp was elected to the County Board also in 2008. She has served on the Human Resources Committee since she was elected and the Planning, Resources, Agriculture, and Extension Committee for this current term. For this current term. Supervisor Vern Koch. Vern, there's a pattern here, was elected in 2008 has been a member of the Health and Human Services Committee since he was elected, and also has served on the Law Committee since 2012. County Board Supervisor Ed Prochek. Ed, also elected in 2008, has served on the Property Committee 
since that time. He is also serving his second term as chairperson of that committee, and Ed has also served on the Human Resources Committee since 2012. And behind me, or to the side of me, County Board Vice Chairman Tom Wagner was elected in 2008, as you know. Tom is your Vice Chairman. You elected your Chair and Vice Chair, and in that capacity, he is a member of the Executive Committee and also serves on the powerful Finance Committee. In the past, Tom has served on the Law and Transportation Committees. And then finally, last but not least, Supervisor Chris Wheeler. Chris was also elected in 08, has served on the Health and Human Services Committee since she was elected and on the Property Committee since 2012. Please join Chairman Sestrudi and I in recognizing Supervisors Al Bosman, Fran Damp, Vern Koch, Ed Project, Tom Wagner, and Chris Wheeler for five outstanding consecutive years of dedicated service to the citizens of Sheboygan County. Well done. <laughs> Would County Board Supervisor Michael Oji please come forward? Mike was elected to the County Board in 1998. And look how he's improved his decor over the years, huh? <laughs> Clean. Mike is currently the chairperson of the Planning, Resources, Agriculture, and Extension Committee, is a member of the Law Committee, he has also served on the Resources Committee from 2006 through 2008, the Executive Committee from 2010 through 2012, and prior to this term served on the Law Committee from 1998 to 2006. So Mike has served on a number of committees and clearly is a valuable member of the County Board. What I personally appreciate about Mike is he has a way of sometimes thinking a little out of the box or coming up with a different way of considering something or a new idea and I think as a result he challenges all of us from time to time and I appreciate that. Uh, could Supervisor Jack Van Dixhorn also come forward? Jack was elected to the County Board in 1998 as well and is currently a member of the Health and Human Services Committee and the Transportation Committee. Jack has served on committees re relating to land and water conservation for the past 15 years. He served as Chairman of the Planning, Resources, Agriculture, and Extension Committee for two terms, and he has also served on the Finance Committee, Property, and Law Committees. On a personal note, my dad was a few years younger than Jack when they attended Sheboygan Falls High School, but he has mentioned to me on more than one occasion what a tremendous athlete Jack was. And according to my dad, he was a powerful bull on the basketball court. <laughs> seeing that. So please join Chairman Destrudy, Vice Chairman Wagner, and I in recognizing Supervisor Mike Ogie and Supervisor Jack Van Dixhorn for 15 consecutive years of dedicated service to the citizens of Sheboygan County. Would County Board Supervisor Bill Gehring please come forward? 25 years. Bill was elected to the County Board in 1988 and is currently the Chairman of the Finance Committee and also serves on the Executive Committee. 
Bill was the county board chairman from December 2002 through April 2008, and during his tenure, also served on, and during his tenure, has also served on the law committee, the property committee, the human resources, and health and human services committees. Perhaps most notably, under Bill's leadership as county board chairman, the county board reduced the property tax levy for the first time in 21 years prior to his leadership as chair. We were the only county of two in the state, 72 in total, able to do so at that time. On a personal note, I don't know if Bill ever played basketball, but I do know that he has a great love and appreciation for farmland and tractors. You might want to ask him about that sometime. Would Roger Otten please come forward? Roger was elected to the County Board in 1988 and is currently a member of the Health Care Center and Health and Human Services Committee. He has served on both of those committees for the past 15 years and is currently chairman of the Health Care Center's committee 15 years consecutively in both of these committees. Did anybody know that? <laughs> How did you do that? I know we want to see a liaison from both committees, and Roger's been the one. And the other thing I know about Roger is he ne he's never hesitant to ask tough questions and drill down into things, and that's been appreciated at both committees. As you know, Roger, along with other health care center committee members, provided key leadership in right-sizing our three nursing homes into one, a necessary and significant step to safeguard the financial well-being of Sheboygan County. In addition, Roger has served on the property, finance, and executive committees. Please join Chairman Tascruti, Vice Chairman Wagner, and I in recognizing Bill and Roger for 25 consecutive years of service to the people of Sheboygan County. See, if folks ever retire and move on, we have these photos, then we can have some fun. <laughs> Last but not least, we have a special guest this evening. Would the Honorable Mayor Michael Vandersteen please come forward? Mike was elected to the County Board in 1998, and as you know, recently resigned his seat on the county board in order to commit all of his energy to his new role as mayor of the city of Sheboygan. During Mike's tenure on the county board, he served on the Health Care Centers Committee, the Finance Committee, the Law Committee, and the Executive Committee. He was chairman of the Health Care Centers Committee for, for two terms and provided key leadership with the Health Care Center Citizens Task Force and the sub subsequent sale of Sunny Ridge. As you know, the county board elected Mike as its chairman for two terms from 2008 through 2012, and Mike followed the successful track record of Bill Gehring and delivered property tax relief three of four years in his role as county board chairman. The city of Sheboygan has now elected Mike to serve as their mayor for the next four years. And I've heard Chairman Testrudi say, most recently at a chamber function, the city's gain is our loss. We are so fortunate to have Mike, I think, as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, not only because of what we saw him do here, his collaborative approach, teamwork, pulling people together to problem solve, but earlier there was some discussion about city-county relations, and I agree with Chairman Testrudi. I think they're as good as they've ever been, at least during my tenure, but without question, they should only get better with Mayor Mike Vandersteen at the helm. So please stand and join Chairman Testrudi, Vice Chairman Wagner, and I in thanking Mike for 15 consecutive years of dedicated service to the citizens of Sheboygan County and wishing him well in his new role as mayor of the city of Sheboygan.
I want to thank you for that 15-year recognition. It's been really a pleasure and a joy to serve with you. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome Faye Rayner to that seat in the front row. You know, it's not often that people with our last names get to seat, sit in the front row, so I hope you enjoy that, as well as representing those great residents of the 2nd District. But I've really enjoyed working with all you supervisors and the staff over the years. I appreciate the support and the collaboration that, uh, that we've uh, put together as partners to find the best solutions for the problems that we faced. I think we made some really good decisions over these years, but first among them was the decision to hire administrative coordinator, and then we hired the best person for that job in Adam Payne. And later on, we recognized the great work that he did as a coordinator and promoted him to administrator. Adam's good at making all of us think that we made a difference in the success that Sheboygan County has achieved during this decade plus tenure. But the real reason that we've been successful, I believe, is because of the great team that Adams assembled to work for us. The department heads, the, every, all the employees, <clears throat> excuse me, have really made a difference. Adam always deflects the praise to his staff or to his supervisors. And when there are challenges, Adam is personally involved in digging in to make sure that solutions are found and implemented to correct the problem. It was a real pleasure for me to partner with Adam and serve as county board chair for two terms. With Adam and Kay, the chairman has always had a great team helping to make Sheboygan County successful. As chairman, I started some bi-monthly leadership meetings between the city of Sheboygan, and now I'm looking forward to continuing this as, uh, as mayor of the city of Sheboygan. It's really come full circle, which is fantastic. I hope that we can continue to work together to find solutions for the problems that we face that are a win-win for both the city and the county because our taxpayers will all benefit in the end. In ending, I just want to thank Sheboygan County team for the training that I received during my years as an elected official uh, so that I will be a much better mayor for the city of Sheboygan. Thank you very much. budgetary savings to the county between this year through 2016 as an effect of the refunding, the refinancing. You'll see it ranges from $20,000 to about $26,000 annually. And then finally on the last page, page four, a detailed repayment plan plus layering in room for uh, potential future issues that the county may, uh, may bring to market in the coming years. This was specifically structured for a rapid repayment. This final maturity, in fact, is in 2018. And it's also structured to allow layering in new debt, if necessary, without seeing an increase in the, in the debt service tax levy. So there's some forward planning going on here from the Finance Committee, Executive Committee, and the County Board itself. So all in all, very successful uh, bond sale, very low interest rates available for the county, and these rates are going to be fixed. They won't change at all over the next five years. So with that, I'd be glad to answer any questions or to go into more detail. Are there any questions? Uh, very good explanation, and uh, thank you very much, Brad. Okay, thank you. Uh, then uh, first we'll be voting on the amendment. Uh, would the uh, clerk read back the amendment, please? It's, it's, it's right up there. Everyone can see it. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Oh, pardon me. Just to clarify, the amendment would be to change the title and all references within the body of the resolution from the uh, previous figure to the 9.5. 9-0 figure. Thank you, Carl. Are there any further questions? All those in favor, vote aye. Opposed, no button. Motion's approved unanimously. And uh, now the vote would be to vote on the original motion as amended. Is there any discussion on that? Wait a second. All those in favor, Wait. indicate by pressing the I button and oppose the name. Yeah. 
good. And that motion is approved unanimously. Next consideration of committee reports from the Finance Committee, resolution number three. Regarding participating in Snowmobile AIDS Program 2013, I have considered the same and recommend uh, adoption. Concurring in the report, Supervisors Gehring, Wagner, and Lemahieu. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move for adoption of resolution number three. Thank you. Supervisor Oji. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second the motion. Thank you, Supervisor Oji. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, vote aye, oppose no. Motions approved unanimously. Also from the Finance Committee, Ordinance Number 1, regarding creating alternate procedures for parking violators, I have considered the same and recommend the ordinance be enacted. Concurring in the report, Supervisors Gehring, Wagner, and Lemahieu. Supervisor Marthenzi. Move enactment of ordinance number one. Thank you, Supervisor Marthenzi. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have second that motion. Thank you for the second. Any discussion? All those in favor, vote aye, oppose nay. That motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. Consideration of committee reports from the Human Resources Committee, resolution number one. Regarding reaffirming membership in Bay, Bay Area County's Workforce Consortium, I have considered the same and recommend resolution be adopted. Concurring in the report, Supervisors Lemahieu, Damp, Marthenzi, Abler, and Prochek. Supervisor Damp. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to move to, uh, for adoption of resolution number one. Thank you, Supervisor Damp. Supervisor Lemieux. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll support that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor, press your eye button and close me. The motion is approved unanimously. Thank you. I'll pass the gavel to Vice Chairman Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Resolutions to be introduced. Resolution number four. Regarding authorizing and directing the Finance Committee and Finance Director to transfer fund balance from Health and Human Services to Capital Project Fund Balance. They'll be referred to Health and Human Services. Ordinances to be introduced. Ordinance number two. Regarding redesignation of navigable waterways in shoreland floodplain ordinance. They'll be referred to the executive committee. Ordinance number three. Regarding amending shoreland ordinance in sections 11 and 14, town of Wilson. They'll also be referred to the executive committee. Supervisor Bemis. I move we adjourn. Thank you, Supervisor Bemis. Supervisor Winkle. I will support the Bemis motion. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. All those in favor, please push your eye button. Roger. Uh, thank you. Motion is approved. We stand adjourned.